Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson and you're watching Get Your Sax Together. Hey, if you're passionate about saxophone and you really want to sound like this... <laughs> But no matter what you do, you end up sounding more like this. Then keep watching because in this free online saxophone lesson, I'm going to break down the three most common mistakes, mistakes that you're probably making. And I'm going to show you how to get a good sound on saxophone. For many people, their ultimate dream has been to learn the saxophone, and it is quite easy to get going, but here's the thing that most people don't know about saxophone. It's incredibly difficult to make a fantastic sound. So you're just about to learn exactly how to do it, and the three mistakes that you're probably making which are holding you back with your saxophone tone. But just before we do, if you wanna learn a whole load of other great stuff about playing saxophone, go and check out my free saxophone success masterclass using the link that you can see right there below. I cover a whole range of topics to make you a better saxophonist all round. So the link is there and the link is also in the description. Okie dokes, without further ado, let's get right into this and start uncovering the first reason why you're not getting a good sound on saxophone. Mistake number one is not using enough air when you blow your saxophone. I don't think I've had a single private student come into the Get Your Sax Together studios here who has blown with enough force to really get that saxophone sounding good. Now, in this short video, I haven't got time to go into it in complete depth, but if you look at the video linked up there, I cover a whole load of stuff about breathing to really help you out. But in a nutshell, you need to fill up the whole cylinder of your body with air. That means taking a deep diaphragm breath, so into your tummy, and expanding your chest. However, don't breathe into your shoulders. Don't let those shoulders ride up like this because it's going to create tension in your neck and tension in your body and your arms, and it's going to go right in through into your fingers, and it's going to be bad news for your saxophone sound and saxophone playing. So, big breath all around your body. You're going to breathe into your tummy, into your chest. Then... When you breathe out, these abdominal muscles, your tummy muscles that wrap around the bottom half of your body, they're going to squeeze. Now, you need to squeeze explosively to really expel the air forcefully to get that reed singing and vibrating to create a fantastic sound on your instrument. You probably need to blow twice five times, 10 times harder than you're doing at the moment. I mean it, you really need to tank it with your breath. So I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna take a big breath in to demonstrate how it's done, keep my shoulders down and relaxed. And then using a shush or a s sound, you're gonna blow out really forcefully. So here we go. So put your right hand on your tummy, put your left hand on your chest, which simulates where your hands are on the saxophone. Take a big breath in and blow out as hard as you can. One more time. Breathe in, fill your whole tummy and your whole chest, and then squeeze your abdominal muscles as hard as you can and breathe out forcefully. So just to re-emphasize this point one more time, if you want to create a fantastic sound on saxophone, if you want to create a great tone, you have to support with your breath. Now that means taking in a big breath, it means keeping your shoulders relaxed, and it means really blowing out as hard as you possibly can to really get that reed vibrating. So work on your breathing and try putting twice or five times as much air into that instrument as you can, and you'll be on your way to get a great sound on saxophone. Mistake number two is having the wrong embouchure. That means the way you have your lips and your mouth and your teeth on the mouthpiece. The biggest mistake I see in all students of saxophone is to have the wrong embouchure. Now, what typically happens is that the embouchure will look like a pinched horizontal line like this. 
with the sides of the mouth stretched out to the side. Now this is typically caused by being taught by clarinet teachers, but it is not gonna give you a good saxophone sound. So instead, you wanna push the sides of your lips in and forward, okay? So instead of having this up and down clamping on the mouthpiece, you're gonna support most of the strength of the embouchure from the sides and the corners of your mouth are gonna go in and forward. This is gonna do a couple of different things. First of all, it's gonna push your bottom lip forward and out. That's gonna uncover more reed inside your mouth and give you a bigger sound. So that's the first secret. That's the first secret result that making like a goldfish, that's what I call it, making like a goldfish face, is gonna do. It's gonna make your lip soft and baggy and turned out. And it's also gonna relax the pressure on the top and bottom lips so they're not clamping down on the reed, okay? So just think about making a nice circle shape with your embouchure. And your bottom lip will be sticking out, turned out, not fully. You don't want the reed on the pink part of your lip, okay? But just turned out. And the strength of the embouchure comes from the side here. So think more like a circle and less like a line. This pinched tight embouchure with the lip turned over your bottom teeth. That's gonna give you a thin, nasty nasal sound. So, goldfish face, sides of the lips, in and forward. And finally, don't put any pressure on the reed. <laughs> Another big thing that goes wrong with people's embouchure, way too much pressure on the reed, okay? That reed just needs to sit nice and still and vibrate without being squeezed up towards the top of the mouthpiece. So here's a little exercise that you can try to make sure that you're not squeezing too much on the reed. It's called the saxophone pull-outs exercise. You're gonna take your mouthpiece and your neck, you're gonna form an embouchure and you're gonna blow a note, and as you're blowing the note, you're gonna pull that mouthpiece and neck away. Obviously make sure you're not gonna hit anything. Now what should happen is you're supporting the scaffold of your embouchure from the sides, forward and in, you're just gonna be blowing a stream of air with no noise when you pull that mouthpiece away, okay? If you're pushing down on the reed, when you pull that mouthpiece away and you keep blowing, your lips will buzz together like a brass player and you'll get this kind of sound, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate the right way to do it, then I'm gonna demonstrate the wrong way to do it. Here we go. So if you combine the breathing tip and you really put a lot of air through your instrument with the embouchure tip, which is gonna give you a nice, loose, relaxed embouchure and really let that reed sing, then your sound will already be transformed. Now let's look at point number three. The third biggest mistake is not using voicing correctly, which is not using your larynx and vocal track correctly. One of the most important and misunderstood aspects of getting a fantastic saxophone tone is how you shape your throat and mouth when you play the instrument, because this has tremendous bearing on the quality of your sound and how rich and how many harmonics there are in your sound. Now, I haven't got time here to go into all the physics of why this is important. That's all covered in my Total Tone Mastery, my flagship sound production course. However, just take it from me for the moment, for this YouTube video, that the position that you have your throat and mouth and tongue makes an enormous difference to your sound. Most people are playing with a constricted throat and a really closed space in their mouth, and they're not creating enough resonance in this area to really make the reed sing with a lot of harmonics. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to practice moving your larynx up and down, and we're gonna do this with a yawn. Now, if you put your finger on your throat, you'll feel a bony part, that's your larynx. It's slightly smaller and less prominent with women, but with men, it sticks out, and you can put your finger there, and if you talk, you can even feel it vibrating. That's because inside your larynx is your voice box, your vocal cords. Now, they are also very important for saxophone production, but that's another video. So 
Put your finger on your larynx and then fake a yawn. You'll feel your larynx drop down and back. Now what I want you to do is to hold your larynx down but don't have the face that you <laughs> that you keep when you're yawning. So we're going to blow a note normally, then you're going to bring your larynx down and then you're going to blow another note. Now hopefully the pitch of the second note will be lower like this. So if your pitch went down, congratulations. You've just started learning how to voice different pitches and different shapes of your throat to create a different amount of harmonics and to richen your saxophone sound. Now, most people play with their larynx too high and their throat too constricted. So you really wanna concentrate on making a big shape in your mouth and learning how to just lower your larynx a little bit so that that air can all flow out and so that you create extra resonance in your vocal tract, which is really gonna open up your tone. A great way of doing this, of course, is to practice using overtones and the card above there, which I'm linking, will show you um, a video I've made about overtones. So let's have a little recap of those three mistakes and how you can overcome them to create a great sax sound. Number one, you're not blowing hard enough. So take a big breath in and really squeeze those tummy muscles to force the air out at a really fast rate, okay? Number two, your embouchure is probably too tight and in a horizontal line, you need to think goldfish and loose, lip out and really let that reed vibrate. Don't clamp up in the reed, let it free, let it loose. And finally, you wanna start learning how to use your larynx and your throat and your mouth to really voice the sound that comes out so that you can create extra harmonics in the sound and get that real rich, smooth tone on saxophone that you've always wanted. Now, it goes without saying that there is a lot to teach with these three points. In fact, I've got almost a whole course that teaches it, my Total Tone Mastery course. However, you can get started if you're watching this week, the week that the video comes out, I've got my Get Your Tone Together free masterclass series is out. I'll put a link for that in the, in the description. But if you're watching this video later on, the um, Get Your Tone Together masterclass series will probably be closed but you'll be able to enter your email there and i'll let you know next time that free series of masterclasses is happening so i really hope that this has been a beneficial video to you i really really want you to be able to create the fantastic sound that you've always wanted on saxophone so that you can soar in your favorite melodies with that big rich smooth even tone that you've always wanted. And these three tips should start pointing you in the right direction. Although, disclaimer, we can't cover all this in a simple YouTube video, but hopefully once you realize where you're going wrong, you'll be able to course correct and find yourself a teacher or take my Total Tone Mastery course to get you back on track. <laughs> okay, there'll be more fantastic content next week. But until then, as I always say, practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. See you later. I'm gonna show you how to make a great sound on. I'll show you how to get a good sound. Probably make it right. Mistake number one is not remembering what you're saying.